everyone! Welcome to my new show that I'll be calling Mommy After Midnight. The show where I basically do whatever I want once the kids are asleep. Tonight I will be walking you through how I trim my bangs and dye my hair, so stay tuned. So what you're going to need is any regular old comb and a pair of scissors. I do have hair cutting scissors, but you don't necessarily need to use hair cutting scissors. You can use whatever kind of scissors you have on hand. So if you want the kind of bangs that I have that are longer on the edges, you're gonna want to make sure that your hair is parted down the middle. going to want to sort of create a V underneath your part line with your hair. You can see I have my middle part here and then I've created this sort of V shape with my bangs. So this is what's going to get cut. Everything else I'm just going to tie back because we don't want to touch it. So there are a couple of different ways that you could go about trimming your bangs. Uh, first I just want to say that I cut my bangs dry. I find that if I wet them and cut them, I always end up cutting them too short because you really can't tell until they're dry exactly how long they are. If you want more of a straight bang, you can just gather your bangs here, take your fingers like this, just move your fingers down and cut across like that. You'll still get sort of a curved shape, but it won't be as dramatic. I like to have my bangs a lot longer next to my eyes to sort of frame my face. So what I like to do is take my hair like this and flip it like that and then grab it with my fingers. So now the hair is kind of crossed. I'll show you that one more time. I take my hair in my hand and I flip it over. And then I'll grab it with the other hand. And now, if I were to cut straight across, my bangs would be longer next to my eyes and shorter in the center. I'll trim across a little bit. Just to take away a little bit of the length. I don't cut that much off. Like I said, I cut my bangs every month. So now I just go up like this and I'll keep cutting to create um, a less blunt looking bang and make the edges look a lot softer. Um, if you like your bangs to be blunt and straight across, uh, go for it, that's fine, but I just prefer to do this. I barely took off anything at all, so I'm actually gonna do it again. Grab all my hair, twist it, sometimes I get a long piece stuck in there that I don't know where it came from. That's okay, I usually just snip it off, it doesn't make a difference. So I'll just keep cutting in an upward direction until I feel like I am happy. Then I'll brush them out to check what the length is like. 
And then at this point, I can continue doing the same thing, but I don't necessarily have to twist it. I'll just grab a section and I'll cut upwards a little bit. Grab the next section, cut it upwards. So you're not really losing any length, you're just kind of softening the edges. I think that looks pretty good for my bangs uh, for now after my hair has been washed and blow dried if I notice any pieces are off I'll just give them a quick little trim and that will be it so now I'm going to show you how I dye my hair today I'm going to be using this Garnier Fructis dye and it's in the color raspberry jam so we will see what this turns out like so the Garnier kit comes with the cream developer as well as the color and if you've never dyed your hair before you mix these two together and for Garnier you also get this fruit oil which you mix in with these it also comes with instructions and it will also come with two gloves so that you do not get your hands stained so this is sealed so if you didn't know the caps always have these little pointy bits on them so you can just use that on the seal and that will pop it right open for you. So we just pour our developer, we're pouring the color into the developer bottle and we want to get all of it in there. Then we can cut open our little fruit oil and pour that into our bottle. Now we replace the cap, put our finger on the top, and just shake it for about 30 seconds until it's fully mixed. Oh, did it tear all over my face? That's pretty funny. A lot of people like to take Vaseline, or I don't know, the only thing I know is Vaseline, and put it around uh, their face where the dye is going to hit so that it doesn't stain. Um, but I don't have any of that on hand right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, also, a good idea is to put a towel around your shoulders. So I'm gonna find myself one of those. That works. So now that all our dye is mixed up, I like to just start right in the middle I'll work my way back with it. Just creating sort of even lines on the top of my head, going from front to back. I think this is the way that the instructions say to do it, and that's why I probably do it this way. I think it's in case you have a lot of gray hair cover they they tell you to do the roots first so it might not be necessary but for you at least but this is how I do it So once I get the top of my head covered, I'll start to work my way down. This is the hardest part if you ask me, getting the length of your hair. It's really very easy to miss spots too, especially around the back where you can't see what you're doing. So you probably want to do this with a window open, especially if you're in your bathroom. The fumes are very, very strong. Wouldn't it be great if the baby woke up as I was doing this? Oh, that would be just so convenient. Hair dye everywhere. Close the bed all over the baby. I'll 
you. It's a lot more convenient dyeing my hair when my hair was cut short. Usually every fall I'll cut up. Usually every fall I will cut my hair to above my shoulders or shoulder shoulder length. But this year I'm kind of thinking I don't want to do that and I want to grow it long, which I haven't done in probably probably uh, six or so years since I have my hair long. At least long by my standards. Right, right now this is pretty long by my standards. Ooh, I got something on my foot. I just felt it land. Okay, I got a towel down. A towel down on that floor for that very reason. You can see on the top of my head. It's getting red. It actually, it looks kind of like blood. It's not, guys. Don't worry, I'm all right. I really want to try to get that bottle and scratch it above, scratch the scalp with it as you're squeezing out the dye. Look at how purple though. Look at that. Definitely want to use the entire bottle of dye. No matter what your hair length is, even if you don't think that you need it all, just slather it all on there. Don't waste it. You can't save it for later. You might as well use it all, making sure that you've covered your whole head. You know, I thought I might need two bottles, but I think I'm going to be all right. The first time I ever dyed my hair was in high school, and I don't remember the brand, but my mom um, dyed it for me, and I really wanted my hair to be red. And once I dyed it, my hair, it, it was red. I looked like the sun. And when I walked in a room at school, my head was like glowing. And I kept my hair red for a while in high school. I had, after I did the red, I think I, I did black. I didn't do my whole head black though. I just did chunks of my hair black. And I bleached the ends. It was really cool to bleach the ends of your hair and then dye it um, a certain whatever color, pink, blue. I dyed mine blue. Um, that was really trendy. Back in, what year was that? Probably like 2002. Actually, yeah, yeah, probably 2002-ish. But now look, I'm back to going red. Reddish purple. So I think that this is pretty much good. I, I'm, I, I'm almost certain, almost, that I've gotten all the hair, almost without out of dye. Some people will also uh, try to comb it through. I find that to be very difficult to do when your hair is being dyed. To try to put a comb through it, it doesn't really work. When twisting your hair works, like wringing it out almost to distribute the dye a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do now is wait about 20 minutes, rinse it out and then I will show you what the finished product looks like. So it's the next day and this is the end result for my hair. Um, last night I went straight to bed after I finished dyeing it because it was really late. But I wanted to show you in the daylight. It looks really dark but in a couple of days or weeks it will start to fade a little bit more. Um, there's definitely a purpley hue to it. You can see up close 
and I really like it. I think my bangs came out nice. The hair looks exactly how I expected it to. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And